Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. I have another rare plant to show you. This is Mulford's Milk Vetch. It has white flowers. I can these here you can kind of see that it's a pea family. You would recognize that out walking as a member of the pea family. It has these small leaves that are curled or folded and a diagnostic for this species is that it has these triangular pods. So this is an endangered species that is native to southwestern Idaho and there's a few populations of it in South, uh, let's see, it'd be southeastern Oregon in Malheur County. So, this species has a range of less than 100 square miles. See, we have some small plants growing down here. And here's some of the pods from last year. So, the species grows in sandy areas and it mostly only grows on the southwest facing side of uh, sand dunes or sand hills kind of out in gravelly area so if we get down here and look at what type of soil we're dealing with here here's a gopher mound but there's not much as far as the soil goes out here. It's very sandy. So this is a rare species. Um, unfortunately, it is uh, <clears throat> affected by a lot of the housing areas in the Boise foothills. This is where this particular specimen is. It's out in the Boise foothills. And the uh, uh, the literature on it seems to be divided whether or not it's a nitrogen fixing plant. I'm not sure if this is one of those cases where people just assume it's nitrogen fixing, but uh, it's hard to say. Anyway, a rare plant that unless you happen to be in Idaho, you'll probably never see. Apologize for the wind. Sometimes you just got to go to where the plants are. So, plant assassin, Mulford's milk fetch. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.